Hi everybody, it's Miss Judy. Uh, I just wanted to share a project that I've been working on today. I've had so much fun. Um, I'm so behind in scrapbooking. I've kind of been into card making, but I need to scrapbook because I have bookus of pictures. And especially with all my grandchildren, I have a lot of grandy pictures. So anyway, I'm starting a goal for myself to work on some scrapbooking of the grandchildren to have them ready to give to them. So I've uh, ordered one of the uh, Story by Stacy short story workbook kits. And I thought, ha, huh, this might help me out a lot to get mo motivated to go. And it is wonderful. I really have enjoyed so far what I have done for today. The kit comes with the album. And I ordered the multicolored. It has multicolor black lagoon. It comes with memory protectors, which I have put into my book already because I've been working on it. It comes with 12 sheets of pattern paper, which is ample. 20 sheets of six by six white daisy cardstock. I haven't even begun to use all that. Sticker sheets, die sheets, dots, black and white dots the gingham ribbon, the twine, and it comes with the workbook. So what I did was I get my workbook out and I read through it. Um, it gives you kind of a, a, a thing, some things to think about. Of course, with me, I don't ever have any trouble <laughs> thinking about what to say. But anyway, it helped me to get a little bit more organized and a little bit more... Uh, into planning what I wanted to do and it gave some great pictures and examples of what you might want to do on some of your pages. So let me show you what I've done. I'm not finished but I did pull out some pictures that I wanted to work on. I did the cover page and I used the stamp set that goes along with your storybooking. It's called Quotable Words. D1786 and it has some really neat stamps that will work well with doing scrapbooking or doing um, the, the uh, small books or card making anything but gives you some guidelines to kind of think about uh, so I used a couple of those stamps on the first page I used a sticker I used another sticker here, looking back, and then I put the best things, the people we love, the places we've been, the memories we've made. And with these stamps, they're real flexible, and you can make them any shapes that you want to. And then up in the corner, the most treasured heirlooms are the sweet memories of family. So this is going to be with my granddaughters here in Tennessee. This is a picture I dearly love. My niece came down to the farm. They live on a farm of cows and took pictures one afternoon, I think it was last fall, and they are gorgeous and I love this picture. Virginia, I mean, uh, Georgia hates to read. <coughs> well, the girls took care of that and encouraged her to sit down and do a book. And I did a little journaling. I cut out this shape out of the artist, uh, artiste cricket cartridge that is close to my heart that you will have if you do access or you can purchase and then I just glued it on the page then I made a fun little page of some pictures a couple of pictures they did a church activity and I'm gonna get the girls and we're gonna go back and fill in the information for this one. Oh, I forgot to put in the thing then I did a couple of silly pages we went to eat dinner at a Thai restaurant and um, Georgia <laughs> uh, pulled the top off of this little container and she thought oh what is it and then Maddie took hers off and she said oh maybe it's a rice house I thought that was real clever then I did a page over here with the girls they were facetiming their cousin David and they were doing those silly pictures that you can do and that's that's my grandson. These are the three girls. I thought it was fun. The stickers up here. And I just did a little journaling on my own. 
Then my granddaughter Virginia scored the winning goal at her junior high soccer game last Thursday. I had to put that in there. The girls were so proud and Virginia was beaming. And then I did a page next to it and used the stamp set um, Rise Strong with Girl You Got This and the stamp set from Zoe and did Best Day. And then I cut some soccer balls, the heart and the ball out of a Cricut cartridge and put a little arrow on there pointing over to her and pointing over to her, get the message. And then another thing I'm doing is putting a date down at the bottom of the pages so that it kind of helps me remember when they were done. Now, that's all I have. But I do have some more pictures in the back that I'm going to be working on. And of course, I have other pictures I'm going to be working on. So I wanted to share this album with you. I wanted to give, give you the heads up on this because it is a nice package to get and get your uh, mojo going. Um, and um, they are in the, the core um, products album, uh, uh, catalog. And if you make an order, you get the core products catalog, which lasts the whole year. You also get this catalog, which is for September and October. And every two months, they put out a new catalog with the uh, stamp of the month for September, stamp of the month for October, and then these new products, they will not go on sale until tomorrow. But there's some new papers, new colors, and a new Cricut program affiliation. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you guys today. I appreciate you watching. I love talking to all of you. I love talking to myself. Ta-ta!